thing, Howard? There's something new called spyware. I thought that was a good thing. Well, not not necessarily, no. The spyware ranges from, a, from one spectrum where they actually, without your knowledge, install software on your computer system, actually captures your keystrokes. So, for example, if you're going to your bank and you type in your user ID and password, it would capture that and transmit it someplace else, and someone then could become you on that bank. And it could also be the other spectrum where it's just uh, they sort of track your activities through the Internet for marketing purposes. Oftentimes, you don't know you do this. You think you're downloading a good game, some sort of a geography program, something like that, and in, in the background install it. And one of the things you really need to be cautious of when you download software like that is take a real good look at the licensing thing. Make sure that basically you're getting what you think you are and nothing extra. So what can we do about that? I mean, what do we do about uh, spyware? Well, there's a few things. One, first and foremost, anti-spyware software is currently available, uh, which is easy. It's part of the security suites that are currently mm -hmm. available out there. Uh, using software, particularly for, for younger members of the family, parental control software actually blocks that sort of activity.